The Elephants by Nettie Mullins A Group of Elephants A big elephant moves through the tall grass. The elephant is a female. The elephant is the leader of a group of African elephants. The leader guides or leads the group. The leader makes a loud noise. The noise echoes. The noise means the group will move to a new place now. The group of elephants trust their leader. The leader helps keep the group safe. The group of elephants follows their leader. Sometimes the elephants stop to eat. They eat leaves and bark from trees and bushes. A female elephant leads a group of African elephants. A group of African elephants. Leader. A baby elephant runs to his mother. The baby elephant snuggles against his mother. The mother hugs her baby with her trunk. The baby touches his mother's trunk with his trunk. Then the baby runs behind his mother. The baby grabs his mother's tail with his trunk. The baby elephant will hold on to the tail when they walk. A baby elephant snuggles against its mother. Mother elephant. Trunk. Trunk. Baby elephant. An elephant's trunk. The group of elephants moves again. The group needs more food. Elephants eat a lot of food. Suddenly, the group stops. None of the elephants moves. The leader wants to know if other animals are nearby. So she presses her trunk to the ground. Her ears twitch. The leader presses her trunk to the ground. Ear. Trunk. Ground. An elephant can do many things with her trunk. An elephant can drink, eat, bathe, and smell with her trunk. An elephant can use her trunk to learn if other animals are nearby. The leader feels the ground with the tip of her trunk. The trunk feels every detail of movement in the ground. The leader knows what the movements mean. Other animals are nearby. So the leader makes a rumbling sound. Then she goes a different way. The group of elephants follows the leader. The group of elephants goes where their leader goes. In the forest. The elephants walk into a forest. Branches are above their heads. A snake slithers in the branches. The branches are covered with leaves. The baby elephant tries to grab the leaves. The baby elephant cannot reach them. His mother pulls down a leafy branch for her baby. The movement wakes a fruit bat. The fruit bat hangs upside down from a branch. The fruit bat squeaks. Many fruit bats hang from the branches. Fruit bats hang upside down to doze or sleep during the day. The bats fly and eat fruit at night. Many of the fruit bats wake up. Some of them flap their wings and fly. Then the fruit bats land on the branches again. The fruit bats hang upside down. Then the fruit bats fold their wings. The fruit bats go to sleep again. Fruit bats hang upside down to sleep. 
branch, leaves, wings, fruit bats. Lions nearby. The elephants leave the forest. Suddenly, the leader stops. The leader sniffs the air with her trunk. The leader makes a loud sound to stop the group. Then other adult or grown-up elephants make the same sound. Adult elephant, baby elephant. The elephants see two lions. Lions can kill baby elephants, so the adult elephants protect the baby elephant. The adult elephants stand in a circle around the baby elephant. Now the lions cannot catch the baby elephant. The baby elephant is safe, so the lions walk away. Lions. Follow the leader. The elephants follow their leader. Sometimes the leader stops and rumbles. The leader feels movements in the ground. The movements do not scare the leader, so the leader walks again. Elephants touch trunks to greet each other or say hello. Trunk. The movements come from another group of elephants. The other group of elephants is far away. Soon the two groups of elephants meet. The elephants touch trunks to say hello. A baby elephant is in the new group of elephants. The two baby elephants touch trunks to say hello. Then the baby elephants play together. Trunk. At the waterhole, some elephants are at a nearby waterhole. Some of the elephants splash in the water. One elephant sucks water into her trunk. Then the elephant sprays her back. Nearby elephants get sprayed. The elephants splash and roll in the water. The elephants spray each other too. The elephants roll in the mud. They spray dust on their skin. The mud and dust protect the skin of the elephants from sun and insects. Some elephants are at a waterhole. Waterhole. Mud. Water. The elephant group leaves the waterhole as the sun goes down in the evening. The elephants have had a good rest. Now the elephants must find more food. The leader leads the group into a forest. The group finds fresh fruit to eat. The group eats many leaves too. The elephants leave the waterhole in the evening. Suddenly, some fruit bats fly around the elephants. One fruit bat swoops past the baby elephant. The fruit bat comes close to the young elephant as the bat flies by. The baby elephant tries to catch the fruit bat with his trunk. The bat is too fast. The baby elephant cannot catch the fruit bat. Soon it is morning. The group of elephants leaves the forest. The leader guides them. The elephants will go to a new place. The group of elephants leave the forest in the morning. Responding. Target skill. Sequence of events. What do the elephants do first? What do the elephants do next? Then what do the elephants do? Copy the chart below. Complete the chart. 
Write three things the elephants do in the correct order. Write about it. Text to self. Did you ever see an elephant? Write a few sentences about an elephant you saw. Tell where the elephant was. Tell what the elephant looked like. Target vocabulary. Detail. Doses. Echoes. Slithers. Snuggles. Squeak. Swoops. Twitch. Target skill. Sequence of events. Tell the time order in which events happen. Target strategy. Question. Ask questions before you read, while you read, and after you read. Genre: Narrative nonfiction tells a story with facts.